Hey everybody, Cam here with a video on Tesla. So Tesla, once again, very much in the news from uh, last week and then into this week, got some more news on it. And then obviously Elon was lighting up Twitter with you know the uh, crypto crowd, Bitcoin, and everything going on there. Uh, so Tesla today closed at 576.83, down almost 13 points. Uh, to be, or I should say 13 bucks, down almost... 2.2 points so down two percent on the day uh and you see you know pretty weak all through pre-market so gap down in pre-market got this push first thing in the morning as you know uh as profit taking was occurring in the markets and you know we got the first push higher in the markets kind of sold off and then tesla followed the market up you know in the last hour of the day as uh the markets try to go green but we're unable to so tesla here sitting according to the five minute chart right out of our point of control according to think or swim but if we go out to the daily chart you know we've been in this downtrend for quite a while now broke out of this triangle down and then you can see here the last three days uh, you know really pretty concentrated around this 200 EMA all right so big pretty big uh, red candle uh, on Thursday Friday make an inside bar able to close above the 200 so we were able to reclaim that but today you know we we gap down lower open below it and then actually formed a green candle today uh, into the close but here you know we, we call this another doji or spinning top candle and you know we basically put in a double bottom here around 560 so 559 low here 561 and you look prior here you know 558 so <clears throat> buyers are supporting this 560 level so we could see a potential reversal uh, you know how far that reversal goes uh, no one could really say right so first level resistance is still going to be probably this 590 level and then 600 is always going to act as a psychological level uh, you know two zeros on it and we still have a lot of way to go to get back up to the nine moving average from tesla uh, you can see here on the rsi we are pretty close to oversold all right so last thursday we got down to 30.13 today we're at 33 and you know last time we broke below 30 we did get a bounce so that is you know several indicators saying we could see a reversal in price action to go higher um, but we'll, we'll have to see so so first off so Tesla is going to follow what the the main market does uh, especially the, you know the Nasdaq being tech based right so Nasdaq was down 0.6% today, at least QQQ, you know, the ETF on it. And, uh, you know, whatever comes out of markets in it for inflation uh, and rising yields, we'll have to see. Uh, and one thing that came out today, especially for Tesla on the downside, so Michael Burry of, you know, the big short fame from 2008, uh, his 13F for Scion Asset Management was released today. And, you know, he's bearish with put options on Tesla. He's got about 800, well, the equivalent of 800,000 shares short. Uh, so that's about $530 million bet that Tesla is going to go lower. And that's like about 40% of, you know, the uh, assets that his company manages. And then if you, you look up his 13F filing, uh, you know, another huge proportion of that is, you know, 20-year treasury yields so he thinks treasury yields are going to go up interest rates are going to go up that's going to affect tech so and you know tesla is going to be a big loser off that um in his eyes because he's actually long facebook and uh i believe it was google um a, a considerable amount too but he's bearish on tesla so you have all these things affecting uh tesla tesla neg negatively right now elon bitcoin uh you know the crash in texas as chinese competitors you know getting bashed in the chinese media uh, and then Michael Burry um, coming out of the woodworks too. So a lot of downside to Tesla right now on the daily chart wise. You know, we could say this potentially be a double bottom. Look for a doji roll play for tomorrow, right? So if we can gap up, you know, I, you could look to go long. If we gap down lower, right, uh, you know, we're going to look for 560 to hold that support. If 560 fails, uh, your next area of support is going to be 540. So. Uh, that's a, a potential play, you know, looking to go both ways on Tesla tomorrow. And then lastly here, we'll just jump out to the weekly chart, see where we're sitting at here. 
All right, so the last three weeks have been pretty bloody, obviously, and uh, the weekly time frame two, which shows support on the 50 uh, week EMA here, 546. Uh, if we do sell off tomorrow, right? But uh, so those are plays. I'm mean, looking at Tesla. If we gap up, look to go long. If we gap down, you know, look for 560 to act as support for a bounce. If the 560 breaks, maybe look to go short to that 540 level. So that's what I got for you guys on Tesla. Let me know your thoughts on the comments. Appreciate you guys as always taking time to watch the videos, and we'll see you in the next one.